What's up dudes? Today we're going to talk about how I created this Star Wars The Last Jedi poster. Okay, before we jump into Photoshop, uh, I put a link down in the description to my store page where I have a pre-order of this print. I had a couple people say that they're interested in having it as a print, so I wanted to make it available for you guys, but I'm keeping it super, super limited. So I think I'm only gonna make 10 of these. I'm gonna sign them and ship them out sometime in January. But if you like the poster and want to print, it's available in my shop, so go pick one up. All right, let's jump into Photoshop and I'm going to explain the trials and tribulations of drawing this Star Wars The Last Jedi poster. Let's go. All right, dudes, so we're here in Photoshop and you are watching a time lapse of the whole production of this poster. What you see right now is the initial like, sketch layout that I did for the poster. Originally I meant to do this whole thing on my art stream on my Twitch channel which is linked down in the description below and I wanted to spend a couple of, of my streams working on this and get it finished just in time for the movie to come out. But as you can tell we're over a week past when the movie came out and I'm just now finishing the poster so it's a very very difficult process to get this one done and as we go through this I'm gonna try and unpack why this was so hard for me and sort of where I landed process wise at the end of it all. Alright so Star Wars always have these awesome awesome posters with all the characters and the space behind them and you know the characters are just sort of floating there but in in a really cool way and the, the compositions of the posters are, are always really really awesome and I wanted to make something similar but kind of drawn in my own style so the first step to this whole thing was figuring out that layout and it was way way harder than I thought it was and looking at this poster now I, I think there's some cool things going on but I probably should have spent even more time figuring out how to get all the characters composed properly. So my main my main focus was to try to lead the eye around the poster. You know, uh, you look at Rey immediately, but then you can sort of, uh, your eye can sort of zoom around the, the poster and how successful that is, I don't really know, but this is where I landed after, I think, four art streams trying to figure it out. Now that the composition is planned out, it's time to start actually drawing the characters. And my next big problem was figuring out the style of how the characters are going to look. As you can see, I, I took this little drawing that I did when I was working on something else. I just thought, oh, I'll just draw Ray for fun. And I really liked how that drawing came out. So I, I brought Ray in and started drawing her and I, I really liked how Ray looked on the poster but then for some reason I started drawing all the other characters trying to get their likenesses um, to be more realistic and it lost that cartoony vibe that I like so much about Ray and so you can see where I'm I'm going back and forth trying to figure out exactly how the characters should look um, Princess Leia uh, man she gave me so many problems and I'm still really not happy with how she turned out. I really like how Kylo Ren turns out in the end and I'm happy with Luke and I think Chewbacca looks super weird in the end and funny but I, I like it a lot. So overall I'm, I'm happy with how I characterized, I don't know how to, if that's even a word, how the, I'm, I'm happy with the style of the characters. You know, I love Star Wars so much, and I love these characters, and I wanted to like do it justice and, and have them look really cool, but also cute and fun in my own style. And, and I guess that, that sort of leads me to the next point is, for some reason, even though this is supposed to be just a simple, fun, personal project, I ended up putting a lot of pressure on myself to make it good. Like I said, I, I just love Star Wars so much, that's why I wanted to do this project. And you know, then I saw the movie and I I loved The Last Jedi. I, I thought it was fantastic. It felt modern and exciting and the new characters are just so wonderful. 
that I really wanted to do this poster justice and make it super, super awesome. And I put this weird pressure on myself to make it really good. And for some reason that just slowed me down. And you know what? Kind of at the end of the year and I'm, I'm evaluating how this year went and maybe that's, that might actually, I'm just thinking of this now, that might be the theme of this entire year is I put so much pressure on myself to make things good and they have to be perfect. And, and I think that really slowed me down on a lot of things. But maybe that's how it should be. That's how you make make really good stuff is, is, you know, taking the time and and making sure things look the way you want. So I don't know. I'm I'm sort of I'm I'm going back and forth on that. On one hand, I really love how this poster came out. On the other hand, um, there's things that I feel like aren't aren't quite right. But um, at some point, you always have to say, okay this project's done gotta just finish it and put it out into the world and that's where we are right now so the last major hurdle of of this poster was figuring out the right color and i cut out i've cut out of this video all the trial and error that i did to figure out the colors uh, i think i just landed on this warm color scheme and just went for it and you know i knew that i wanted to have that yellow the the, the classic yellow border. I actually really like all of the new Last Jedi posters. I think they fit the movie really well. You know, they're all like white and red, um, but I wanted to do something a little more old school with the yellow border, but also hint at the redness of the movie because I think that was such a cool part of The Last Jedi that I wanted to sort of get that in there. So I just kind of landed on this warm color story. And then really, I, I picked one of the Photoshop brushes and just went crazy. I figured all the characters are in space and the major light source is Rey's lightsaber or I guess Luke's lightsaber, Vader's lightsaber. And so I just kind of picked that light source that runs down the middle and sort of spread, spread the light out and sort of uh, shaded, I guess, the, the poster that way using sort of a, a fun Photoshop, like textured brush. I think this was a, a super fun way to color the poster, like uh, actual process wise, because it was just figuring out the value of things and then using this this warm color palette to, to fill it out. All right, dudes, and that pretty much wraps up this Star Wars Last Jedi poster. I absolutely wanna make more posters like this with a bunch of characters and you know figure out cool colors and everything um, i really 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 want to get better at doing this sort of thing so expect to see more like this in the future but until then i'm going to be printing a super limited number of these prints the first link in the description below will take you straight to it so you can pre-order it they'll ship sometime early in january when i get the prints in and I'll sign them, all that good stuff. Maybe throw in some extras as well. All right, dudes, Star Wars The Last Jedi. All right, dudes, as always, leave a comment below if you have a question about anything process-wise or, or whatever. I'll be happy to answer. Also, leave a comment below letting me know who, leave a comment below letting me know. Leave a comment below saying who your favorite character in Last Jedi was. I think mine's probably Kylo Ren, but I also love Rose and Finn. There's so many good characters. Anyway, okay dudes, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an awesome productive week and I will catch you later.